robots appeal to most children. They feature regularly in kids' TV programmes and often pack the toy shelves in their bedrooms. Primo Robo is simple, but kids here at the Tardy Kindergarten in the French city of Saint-Étienne love him. I think kids are drawn to it because they see robots in cartoons on TV. It's a toy, it's something they don't often get the chance to handle, so it's attractive for children. We're turning to the left, straight on, to the left again. Elisa controls the robot by putting coloured chips into the remote control box, red for straight, blue for left and yellow for right. So far, Primo Robo is being tested in just one nursery school. If it's successful, French authorities will decide whether to try it in other publicly funded schools. Programming skills are a top priority. Coding is an issue of general education for everybody, because computers are everywhere, in phones, in washing machines, in smart technology that's growing in demand all the time. If we learn what a program is and how a machine is programmed, then we'll simply understand the world around us better. GPS, mobiles, programmed vacuum cleaners, automatic shutters, computers are now indispensable in our daily life. It's the environment today in which kids are growing up. The younger we start and acquire structures and plans, the earlier we learn formal structures. It is part of a learning process which goes right through primary school. The game is about developing anticipation and so-called visual thinking. But primarily, it reinforces the idea that it's humans who control machines, even when they're as sophisticated as these at a robot fair in Lyon in France. When you introduce a robot to students, the teachers have to kick the pupils out at the end of the day because they just want to keep on working with it and creating new programs. In this way, they gain deeper knowledge in computer science and mathematics. Robots are a useful educational tool. It's an essential skill set for the younger generation in a world where IT is becoming increasingly important. But what if today's programming language is completely obsolete tomorrow? Technologies change, but the spirit and the logic stay the same. Today it's not important to learn a particular computer language or technology in secondary schools, but to learn the approach, how to resolve a problem using coding.